tonight for anyone that's not here. They can look back on anyone that needs to go over it again. And if you'd like to get the question look back on the film that we're going to put up on YouTube. I'll share it at the board as well. That way you won't get it. If you've got any questions, you don't need to bug me all the time, which you will anyway, I can guarantee it. Um, the red phone is available 24 7 to answer your questions, so just pop up the forum. You'll find the sort of ambassadors such as Michelle, Gage, Tammy, uh, a lot of them have done the challenge before and one of the appearance and as an ambassador as well this time. Uh, they're in the forum. They'll probably answer your questions before we get a chance to. Um, other than that, as soon as you see the forum, so your questions pop up, we'll answer as quickly as we can for you. We will have a, probably a lot of sad Batman to come up. That's just a bit of fun with trainers and all of us really have with it. It's not anything that you we want you to ask questions. We need you to ask questions. We understand that we're professionals, we know what we're doing in this, you guys don't, so we need to educate you as much as possible. If you do ask a stupid question, you'll probably realise later on that said that man's stick rock is going. But we will answer it yet. So don't take it to heart, don't take it to hanging shit on you. We are, but just don't take it to heart. We tell you to fun at the same time. As we get the same question over and over again, all these challenges. Right, we're going to get into supplements on what you guys are actually getting and what we're going to be taking and how to take it and why you're taking it at the same time. The most important thing is obviously the diet. You've all got your diets at the moment, you've all had a look through them, you probably have a little tear in your eye when you've seen the diet because they're really strict. Uh, it is one of the toughest challenges in the country that you guys are going to be doing. So the variety is not fair. So if you think you can swap things over in this challenge and swap this for that, it's no. It's written out in front of you, just be. Uh, I see a lot of people with the challenge that I'm not in the right mindset for this. I don't think about it. I don't know, it's shit. Just eat it. That's it. It's food. I see a lot of people go, I'm gagging on this, or it's just too much food, I can't get in. I think John said we came in with so much food. It will tickle away slowly as we go through the challenge, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, high carb days. We're doing what's called a carb cycle. So there'll be high carb days. They're in line with your legs day, your chest day, your back day, your big muscle groups. So we give you enough carbohydrates to energize you through those workouts. The workouts also will change throughout the challenge. About halfway through, we change the workout again. It's tougher. It's harder. And then towards the end, the workouts change again. The cardio gets out. You notice there's no cardio at the start? Yeah, there's a reason for that. If you start cardio now, you'll be doing a crap load of cardio towards the end of the challenge. We don't want that. We want to progressively overload the cardio now as it's needed. If you're losing weight or gaining muscle, you have cardio there. Why are we out? So it's just a great thing to cover them. So that'll come later on. Um, so here we go. In your packs, for you guys that are bulky, I'll quickly run through that one because it's nice and easy. You will get what's called an anabolic injection protein. The anabolic injection has about 52 grams of carbohydrates in it. That's going to give you carbs up to add muscle to with the protein at the same time. Um, with the fat loss, carbs aren't there. So we don't want to have carbohydrate here. Those carbs are going to suck up straight to glycogen into your muscles, so you're not going to store this back. So you've probably seen a lot of carbs on here and go, oh shit, I can't have that many carbs. It's going to store, you're going to put fat on, you're actually not. It's going to go straight to the muscle and help your muscle grow. So it's completely covered with protein with that one. So I skip with that post workout, within 30 minutes after your workout. That's what we're aiming for. So those guys are bulking. Also, with the bulking diet, it's creatine monohydrate. Creatine is one of the most studied supplements on the market. Uh, proven 100% effective in every study they've done. It's been around for years, it's a bodybuilding staple. What creatine does is give you a little bit more energy in the gym, a little bit more strength in the gym, in your weights, and it also draw muscle in, uh, draw water into the muscle at the same time, uh, getting that big pump that we're aiming for. We're talking about time under tension. Sam, when we did workout Monday, you felt a big difference when we were doing the time under tension of that blood getting into the muscle. It's going to give you more than that, which is what we're aiming for. Well, so yeah, pretty much the two you get on that one. Uh, right at, we also get a bit of a fifth of life shaker up here, so you can shake up the subs for everything. Sorry? That one, for the first two weeks of the challenge, or for the first week of the challenge, I want you to take one teaspoon of that with every meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, three meals, sorry, you have six, aren't you? So breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the first week. It's called both. Yeah, creatine saturation in there. After that, one teaspoon, 15 minutes before you work out. That's it. That's all we want. Uh, if you need to restock that, and I doubt you will, half a kilo of that's about 40 bucks. It's worth quite a lot. That's one of the best ones on the market. So, any other questions, Gage? You could have a couple of them. Well, no, you'll, you'll see the guys have done this before. If I miss something, they'll call me up, which is good. What you need. Right out, your other supplements for all of you guys WPI protein. No carbs, very, very clean protein. 
If you ever, when you're not on the challenge, go to buy a protein, always look at the back of it. Make sure there's no more than three ingredients in it. If there's any more than that, it's fillers, it's crap. Get rid of it, chuck it out, it's not worth anything. Um, so that, nice clean protein. Now we take this, 300 mils of water, one scoop of protein, about 30 minutes after work, or within 30 minutes after your workout. You'll see a lot of people here, they got their protein shakers, they bring it in, put the powder at the bottom of it, just fill it up with water when they're finished and dump their protein shake. Why are you taking this? It's going to speed up the recovery. When you work out in the gym, you break down the muscle. You're not growing it, you're actually micro-tearing it and breaking the muscle down. This is an instant uptake. It goes straight into the system, digests very, very fast, gets into those muscles and helps what it's called protein synthesis. That's repairing of your muscles. They repair thicker and stronger, hence why we grow muscle. Um, for you guys that are working out, it's going to speed up abdominals, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. So you're not going to be sore for two or three days. You're going to be sore for about a day after it, and then you should be recovered ready to hit it again. Okay? Any questions on that one? Elise? If you do like to work out, you take it No, just once. So, your main workout, the big one that you do during the day, just get it in after that, okay? After the muscles broken down. If you're doing two workouts a day, you're probably overtraining a little bit. For the first week or two, you'll probably come back a second time to finish your program off. Um, once you get used to that program, it should take you no more than 45 to 50 minutes to run through the program. It's pretty fast. It's just while you're getting to know that program, you're going to be umming and ahhing and doing things a little bit slower. Uh, the more you get used to it, the better you're going to be at it. Okay, any other questions about the protein? Yep. Let's see the protein. Yep, exactly. Just one. Otherwise, you've got 104 carbs, 104 grams of carbs out of the system. That will store. That will be a bit Okay? Um, a lot of these people in their macro, on their immediate carb days, have about 100 grams of carbs in their macro. So, yeah, we don't want too much. We're going to keep an eye on you guys that are bulking for any fat that's coming on. If the fat's coming on, we'll back the carbs down a little bit more so we get a nice lean bulk so you can really get the challenge. Any other questions about the protein? All good? One scoop in your shake, 300 mils of water, shake it up, plug it down. Nice and simple. That's straight up your workout. The other stuff you've got on there, you will have a choice of. Thermonuclear pyrrhine, these are fat burners, they're a thermogen. Okay, so what they're going to do is heat your body up a little bit, that's how you actually feel it heat up. Uh, two scoops, first thing in the morning, go get a 30 mil shot. Don't go too much water, it dilutes it. Imagine having an aspirin in about a litre of water. By the time it's your system, it's not going to do anything, you're just sipping on it for ages to get that litre down. Put a shot into it, two scoops of that into it, bang, first thing in the morning before your breakfast. Okay, questions on that one? Fire away. One suit, that's right, exactly. But it's not work. Yeah, it does. Like that's exactly it. That's why it's not being There you go. <laughs> With a lot of supplements, TGA recommendations, we have to follow guidelines. TGA recommendations sometimes don't work. That's not the way the manufacturer intended it, but it's legal how they have to put it on. Okay? So we have two steps of water. We're going to mix your bad burner with this little baby. As I said, that looks a thermogenic, so it's going to heat your body up to burn calories. This is an enzyme, it's called our carnitine. This is what carries the fat, the triglyceride. Once it leaves the cell, it's gonna get a little bit technical here, so ask me questions after it. It carries it through the mitochondrial wall to use as energy, it's called ATP, and it comes out the other side. Okay, so this is a fat burning enzyme, a fat carrying enzyme, it takes it through. The more of this you've got in your body, the more fat's gonna get carried through the mitochondrial wall, the faster the fat's gonna burn up. Okay, so, first thing in the morning, mix that with that. Oh, by the way, with the thermonu, if anyone's on thermonu, you uh, get that in your pad, it's only one scoop of that one, okay? Get the pyro, two scoops. Sorry? What's the difference? Why is it two? There's not really much difference in them, this is just a stronger thermogenic. Uh, that one's got energy in it as well, so I'll give you a big picking up in the morning, where that one's a straight thermogenic. Uh, I've given most of you guys pyro, but I don't want the energy pick in the morning. I want you to get that naturally from food and working out so I can see the difference happening in the body. Uh, so that, that, mix it together, about 30 or 40 mil shot, bung it in there, a little bit of water, shake it up, bung it down. Okay? Yep, mix the two together. The reason we're going to do that, this is my favourite part about doing these briefings, the reason we're going to do that is, um, well, the power center we have to give everyone's thing. You do not want to take that by itself. <laughs> it's already leached, it's going to lay into the water. So, 
So try and go glass water bottles if possible, or a BPA water bottle if you can. Uh, those of you that have a xenoestrogen, what they actually call it, a xenoestrogen build up in your body, I would have already put you on a thermo-detox, uh, which has DIM in it, to start to try and expel that out of your body and help get rid of it. If there's a big build up of it, you use something called alpha alpha venus to get rid of that xenoestrogen over time. It also regulates the periods and makes you happy too. So you're not so moody and horrible. Um, it also help periods uh, not be so painful as well. So if anyone's suffering from painful periods, that'll help ease it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, it'll regulate all those hormones back to normal, which is what we want. Um, girls with PCOS, do we have any ladies with PCOS on the show? Do? Cool, no worries. I'll have a chat to you later, but I'll look at that. Uh, another something called biotin. I've done over 16 years of research on PCOS, and I have to bring it down. Uh, Mandy had PCOS, but now we're going to go to Instead of 24 to 48, we're going to go to the right now. Listen, PCOS is policy over a syndrome. Usually caused by probably three things. The main one is the pill. When you ingest the pill, the contraceptive pill, uh, it's replacing your estrogen. So your estrogen suppresses uh, or progesterone it suppresses it. When they take you off it, uh, it's a hormone that we're replacing. Same as with a bodybuilder who's taking steroids. I think most bodybuilders, yeah, they do, let's face it. Um, if a bodybuilder's taking steroids, they do something at the end of a post cycle therapy where they kickstart their natural testosterone back off again. When you guys come off the pill, and a few of you probably have, what do the doctors do? As in, you're off. Done. Your natural hormones are completely stuffed. They're all out of whack. They haven't had to be up there. So it throws things out and one of the side effects of that can be PCOS, but the other one can be infertility. We're just learning about this over the last probably 10 years now, it's becoming more alive because it wasn't around that long. Now we're just learning the side effects of what happens when you just come straight off it, which really should have been a simple understanding. Straight up, if you come off a hormone, you need to wean off that hormone and get something from the natural hormone back again. Uh, that's one of the things. The other thing is bisphenol A. Um, soy, it was a big soy up thing in the 90s. Everyone was soy milk, soy this, soy that. Well, now we know that soy actually mimics that same estrogen. Uh, Phyllis and soy actually mimic the estrogen in there. So we've got the same problem coming through. People's hormones are out of whack. Um, it's just crazy. I will put up a, um, a post about the dangers of soy. Fermented soy, you've probably got it because there's a couple of vegetarians that have it on their diet. It's been fermented over three years and done properly. The toxins are out of it, so that's fine. Uh, most of the soy products that are processed food have it, and it will now be pretty hard. Okay, so just keep that in mind, try and stay away from it as much as possible. Uh, what was I up to? So, we've got that. Everyone have a nice sniff of that? Great, isn't it? That's why we don't take it by ourselves. We pretty much get it down and throw it back up again. Okay? So, mix it with your thermogenic and away you go. That's your morning. First thing before breakfast, get those two in. Any questions? Yeah, if you've got firm on you, you can have a pre-workout. It's got that energizer, a little bit of caffeine in there as well, give you a bit of picking up before it. Uh, so you'll be more interested in gym. So you can have it in the afternoon again as well. Uh, so yeah, it's probably quite moving with so much in the body that it has to be Yeah, we'll give you go. See how we go. Um, so that's about food done. We've gone through the alpha venus. If it's something you need, if it's something I think you need, I'll actually suggest it to you. I'm not here to build more supplements. The main thing in this challenge is to teach you about diet, teach you about nutrition as you go through. So please keep asking questions about your nutrition. Uh, what else we got? Optionals. That's something you pay. Little optional extras. This has now been pulled off the market. I can't advertise this in any way, shape, or form. TGA have now pulled it off the market. TGA do that if anything works, they pull it straight away. You can guarantee all the test boosting supplements and everything on the market, they're all load of horse shit. It's just snake oil. It's just supplement companies trying to sell their crap to you. Basically, filling you full of bullshit. Um, test boosters, if they were to work, they'd be pulled off the market straight away because they'd become an illegal steroid straight up. There's a certain pro hormones that are allowed on the market that actually do work. But they're a very weak version of steroids. So any test boosters out there try and sell you the supplements for us, you turn around and go, no, it's just no go, I'm not touching it. Thyroid um, treatment, it is T2, straight up. Your thyroid releases T3 to boost your metabolism. This is T2, it's already passed, so it doesn't affect your thyroid gland, but it will boost your metabolism up at the same time. Uh, we've got probably, let me pull this left. Well, 
Very few. Very few. We've only got a couple of these left. Get on them. Two of these every morning. An amazing metabolism booster. And you're looking to probably lose about, what is it, 45 kilos a week on the damn things. It's crazy. Hence why TGI How many have Very few. How many have I think there's only six or seven bottles of this left. Yeah. So these are optional. Um, if you want to jump on them, jump on them. As I said, I'm not about getting supplements for you guys. I'm just going to tell you what's available. 90. Yeah, don't ask me prices. I know what's in them. I know what they do. I can give you a clinical breakdown of how they work in your body. But I have no idea on prices. Mm -hmm. I don't sell stuff here for Joel. And yes. So I can advise you on what to take, what's in it, why you're taking it, what it'll do to your body. I don't have a price. No, I just run this place. I don't know anything about it. Um, on your diets, this will be on your diet. Get that casein custard. This is a nighttime protein shake. Now this is a casein, it's a very slow release protein. Your body will not repair itself unless you're sleeping. It will be breaking down, which is called catabolic, throughout the day, especially after you work out. You've got protein in there, protein synthesis, that will protect your muscle and um, give it a bit of food to stop it breaking down too much throughout the day. At night time, you've got two options. You can have this. If you can't afford to grab this stuff, have a glass of milk before you go to bed for you. Okay? Not no fat milk. I want full fat milk, please, before you go to bed. Uh, that's a slow release protein with low one colostrum in it. Uh, the colostrum will release great hormone while you're sleeping to give you a little bit better result. Okay? And on diet, this stuff tastes amazing. You put it to here, Brad's sitting there. Yeah, some of you guys have already got it and you've had it before. And it comes with a great flavor as well banana, chopped honeycomb. While you're on diet, you're limited. To get something sweet, you can mix up your pasta and eat in bed and feel like you're doing something naughty. Makes you feel fantastic. It's a godsend when you're dieting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit of huh? yogurt. You don't need it in your yogurt because your yogurt's got protein. Okay. Those of you that have got your yogurt in your diet, I want you to have plain. Do not go for the Chobani flavoured. They have about 20 to 22 grams of sugar in them that you do not need. So flavour yourself with your yogurt. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, here's a challenge. I want you guys to have a minimum of three litres of water per day. Minimum. Okay? Try not to go too high over that, like Gagey did. Otherwise, I have a nightmare towards the end of the challenge when I'm trying to write you out to get the best photo possible for the judges. <laughs> yeah. Gagey runs about eight litres of water a day. So trying to overload his water to make his aldosterone hormone change and dry him out so his abs stay full is looking phenomenal at the end of it. Yeah, we have a hard time. I usually get him off water about two days before him, so he dries right out. Um, so three litres a day of water. Anyone think they're going to struggle with that? Cool. Potentially can block three bottles of wine now. Pretty quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mind thing. That's all it is. Um, it's important towards the end of the challenge to do something in the past. We can get it from coals, we can get it from wheels as well. Purity of brand water. The reason we do this towards the end of the challenge, you can do it throughout the challenge if you want, it's entirely up to you. Number one, BPA free bottles. Number two, there is nothing in this. This is the purest water you can possibly get in Australia. Uh, there are no chemicals, no metals, no sodium, no nothing. It's as pure as it comes. The reason we do that is towards the end of the challenge when you're flushing your body as much as possible, you're not holding in the soul and you get a good picture out of it. Basically, it drains you out and it goes through your body and helps you clean out. A lot of detox, there's no such thing as detox, by the way. If you see detox diets out there, they're a money making scam, straight up. If your body was toxic, you're dead. Simple. You've got kidney or liver part of it. Your kidneys and liver are there, they do an amazing job of filtering the blood and filtering everything else out of the system. You'll see little cards and tricks where people turn around and go, well, your urine's changed from this pH to this pH. And that's done for a very good reason. Your body's regulated it and it's ready to rest it out. So if it's acidic, your body's changed the pH and the rest of the acid. If your blood pH changes, you will die. Straight up. So any detox diet you see out there, please, 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 please don't. Just don't. There are horrible, horrible, nasty ways of saying snake oil. Okay? Um, the other thing I was going to talk about tonight, burn bars. Now, you see a lot of protein bars, and yes, Anderson, I can see your big grin over there, because like, the last couple of challenges, he's pretty much moved on these things. <laughs> um, it's a chocolate bar. But they're done with protein. You see a lot of bars out on the market. This is the only one that I will actually recommend. The macros in these are fantastic, 147 calories, um, 8 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein. I think I'm right. I don't know, I'm the glasses, so I can't read, but I'm pretty good when it comes to these things. Um, these can be replaced with morning tea or afternoon tea, if you want to. I don't want you to see having them all the time, though. Yes, I'm looking at you, Alan. Not all the time, okay? If you can't get food, it's a little bit of They're amazing. And they taste beautiful. That one's white chocolate raspberry. So they don't have that chewy texture of the ones you might see in the supermarket where you're ripping the teeth out trying to eat them. They're actually just like chocolate bar. If you've got chocolate cravings, who's got a bad thing with chocolate? Really bad thing with chocolate? Good place for that, okay? Some diets over the last 16 years of me being nutritionist and writing people diets, I have put chocolate in diets. I've given people a couple of spares of chocolate a day and they've had great results with it. That doesn't mean we're going to do it over the challenge. <laughs> if I see, yes, you can also have a spoon for the towel. Okay? No, squares, not blocks. <laughs> if you get desperate, I would rather you have that than be out on a whole lot of chocolates and stuff, okay? Um, they come in cherry ripe flavours, double chocolate fudge flavours, there's heaps of different things you can get on there. Okay, so there are your other options. Right, question time! Any questions? Wow, you're pretty fired up. <laughs> Usually I'm sitting here for an hour answering questions for everyone. Uh, with the workouts, you guys have done the workout time for tempo. I have got links to the exercise tutorials online. I really want you to concentrate on that two second contraction or second release. Take time under there, the more time you're on the muscle, or on the tension on the muscle, the bigger result we're going to get from that. Okay, the first week of the challenge, we will see probably a big change in weight and change in body structure. Uh, that will ease after that, and it'll settle down and it'll cruise through. Um, what else talking about that? You might have heard rumours that halfway through the challenge we'll be happy to pizza night. Get through. We will have a massive pizza night throughout the challenge. The reason we do this is with a chemical called leptin. 
Guy, you out of time, that let them drop, so I need to reset it. And I will put an article up, I'll let you guys to read as well. As I said, this challenge didn't just challenge, challenge your body. It's a learning experience for you all as well. I want to teach you as much as you can over the eight weeks. So the number one, you can pay this all to teach other people. Number two, you don't blow out after you finish it. A couple of people here come back to the challenges because they like to eat food. I'll you up. And they will finish the challenge, put on some weight, and then come back to me to do the next challenge and get it off again. It's not too bad. But considering the last challenge. Was it last time? 10 kilos in two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing we do with our challenge with Kipper Agents for everybody else is at the end of this challenge, it ain't over. It is not over for you guys. We do what's called the reverse diet. This is where we make sure you do not put the weight back on. Okay, you'll see other people finish challenges that just balloon back up again. As we've ticked away, we've got you down to the calorie deficit. The metabolism slows as those calories go down. The body adapts. It doesn't want to expense energy. So it adapts by slowing the metabolism down. That's why it becomes harder and harder to lose weight. Um, you'll see a lot of people that have been on a diet or challenge, they lost 10 kilos and plateaued. Number one, we re feed your leptin. Bring that up again. You start your body. Have you ever heard a person say, oh, I've been dieting for ages and I've stopped? I ate junk food for two days and lost five kilos. That's the way the leptin actually works in your body. So it is true. You have a refeed, big high carb, high fat meal, leptin will come back, and away it goes again. It's off the process again. Okay? Talking about, I'll digress again, talking about metabolism and slowing down, when we get to the end of the challenge, you've got six weeks to go after that challenge ends, and we do a reverse diet, where we add 10% carbohydrates back to your diet each week. Keep a monitor on your weight, if it goes up, you back your carbs off a little bit. Push it again next week, and push it and push it until we get you on about two and a half to probably 3,000 calories a day into your system where you're not putting on weight, your metabolism is working the way it's supposed to be. That's going to guarantee, you, unless you completely blow out and stuff things up and have like a massive binge on the weekends, weekends, because it's a multitude, um, you shouldn't put the weight back on. You should be able to keep a nice healthy weight range with your metabolism fired up, and you should stay like that forever. Okay? It is going to take you a while for your gut flora to change. I mean, I put an article up on about that in the community the other day about the way your gut flora actually reacts to different foods. So it will take a while for that to change up. Um, right, okay, questions on that one? Go for it. Yeah. Oh, tons of things. Sugar's one. Sugar's a massive carbohydrate. It's the most fast one that goes through the body quickly. Um, you got potato, rice. Um, sweet potato, quinoa, uh, all those sort of nice uh, thick grain foods. Okay? So your diet's probably got a lot of rice in it, sweet potato. <laughs> You'll find if your diet's got a lot of rice in it, we'll switch to sweet potato halfway through and pick down. Sweet potato is a lighter calorie food, it's got more water density into it, and it um, will give it a bit more volume. Pumpkin again, carbohydrate, um, as we teach towards the end of the challenge. Who doesn't like pumpkin? You go on hungry. <laughs> we'll change over from sweet potato to pumpkin. Again, you can have more volume of pumpkin in there if you're hungry, with less carbohydrates and less calories. Uh, towards the end, we'll just have a cucumber. Who hates a cucumber? Cool. Good. You're going to start to it. Just kidding. We'll look after you. We'll come up with something different. Zucchini? Hey, zucchini? You hate everything. You really challenge me with your diet. It's awesome. I love having fun doing it. It challenges you. One of the most fussiest vegetarians I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> but we got there in the end, and we got a good, good diet out. Well, I would call it a sucky diet. Who thinks they're going to struggle with diet? Please, please, please ask questions. Already? Coffee? Coffee! Uh, if you look at the FAQ in the forum, we actually do mention coffee in there. Yes, you can have coffee. In fact, a lot of the supplements we've got there have got caffeine in them as well, around 300 milligrams. Okay? Black coffee. No sugar. Um, it's hard to take to start with. No milk. No milk. Yeah, no milk. Sugar. So you can have unsweetened almond milk, but it's likely to curdle in there and taste like arse. That's right. We want to limit it as much as possible. The milk's got about 12 grams of sugar in it. So I'd like it used sparingly. If you desperately have to have milk for your coffee, just a really tiny bit, okay? Uh, it's called a macchiato. It's a very, very small amount of milk in there. Milk cream again. 
Uh, very small amount of milk in Just so it's palatable for you, you really can't take it black. Okay? Um, yeah. But yet, that it doesn't have a side effect. Um, aspartame, the jury's still out on that at the moment. We don't know exactly if it's bad or good. But shop them through. We don't know if it's bad or good, so I would stay away from it. Any sort of chemical cocktail, oh yeah. Any sort of chemical cocktail, I sort of just try not to put in my body. Okay? Um, the other ones like stevia, a lot of people say, oh, it's natural, it goes through. Stevia is bound to affect the thyroid hormone, the thyroid growth. At the same time, it's slow your thyroid down, which obviously slow your thyroid, slow your metabolism, and great. Uh, it also tricks your body into thinking the sugar's coming. So your body's weight is insulin, and that's it doesn't care. Um, the reason I say full green milk, and the reason I say full fat everything that we're doing, is you'll notice about 1983, they did a report from the government report. You guys will actually know about this when you watch the video that we showed up on the channel from the Stop and Pizza Now. Um, the government report, they did a report on three countries instead of 16, and they did a correlation study. The correlation study is different than the causation study. The correlation study meant, oh, there's high heart disease in these three countries. They have a high fat diet. So they correlated them together with three instead of 16 countries. Stuffed it up completely. So they pulled the fat out of everything. When they pulled the fat out of everything, they pulled the flavour out of everything. No fat, no flavour, it tastes like cardboard. What did they do to fix that? Can anyone tell me? They loaded it full of sugar. Exactly. So spiking insulin over and over and over and over again. Sugar does not cause diabetes. But the product from the sugar overload, the storing of the fat, causes diabetes. So the more fat to get on there, diabetes comes out. Okay, sugar causes insulin release, which is either going to drive into your muscles as glycogen. Once your muscles and liver are full of glycogen, it will store its fat. Straight up, that's how fat comes off. Okay? So that's why I say go back to full fat everything. That's what we're looking for. Go back to the way your parents and your grandparents used to eat. Is it lard and dripping for that fat? No, they weren't. Uh, fat also regulates your hormones. So if you're, if you're not having that good cholesterol, that good fat in there, your hormones are going down. You need those fats in there to regulate your hormones. So you'll notice that I've got one of the nice amount of fat to diets every day. Uh, nuts, avocados, great fats to get in there. Okay? Um, diet questions. Keep firing away. If you can't palate something and you are having a hard time with it, you're gagging on it, you just can't get it in, and I want you to eat for God's sake. The best diet is the one you can stick to. So I don't want to sort of hiding away and not eating. If you don't eat, you're not always right. You have to eat always right. I want you to talk to me. Ask me questions. We will come up with a substitute. It's going to work. Okay? So, you know, if you've got chicken and beans and you just can't get it in anymore, put it up on the forum. The guys that have done these challenges and the ambassadors at the forums will give you so many different ways of having it. Sauces are fine. Gravy, get into it. No problem. Just watch the sugar content. All the gravy. Yep. Very hot shit, pretty good. It's all good. Not bad. Yeah, go for it. Just try to stay away from things like sweet chili sauces and stuff like that. Read the labels. If it's got a high sugar content, get rid of it. Okay? We've got probably anything over 3 grams of sugar per serve. We want to try and keep it down. I think I've got most of you guys under 30 grams of sugar a day in fact. So, I don't want to keep spiking insulin like this all the time. The only people that have got an insulin spike, a steady insulin spike, are those with type 2 diabetes. Okay? Other than that, we're going to try and keep things nice and low and steady as much as we can. Um, any other questions? Yes, sorry, if the, in the morning, say, you know, like an omelette, you have to be normal, you want to see some boiled eggs without the Go for it. Yeah. Uh, there's 105 ways to do an eggs, mate. Yeah. Get into it. As long as you keep two yolks and the egg white. The reason, again, I'll, I'll try this on this one as well, the reason I've only got two egg yolks in there, uh, or one egg yolk in there in your breakfast, if you've got eggs for breakfast, is the fats in the egg yolks aren't bad. They're good, don't get me wrong. They're a great cholesterol. Uh, they're not going to raise your blood cholesterol, and they're something that's good fat. The reason I don't have is to keep those fats moderated to that fat. If you were lower on fats and you could fit another one in, you just throw another whole egg in. The reason I've got the whites in there is they're pure protein, and we need to get that in. We have to have the protein in every single meal we have. Okay, protein's 30% uh, thermogenesis as well. So 30% of what you're eating protein is going to cause your body to heat up to actually digest the protein and suck it into the muscle. Right, let's get a breakdown of macros what they do for you. Uh, protein repairs muscles. You've got to do 19 chunks of amino acids in protein. 
Each one does a thing. Loosening, isolating, violent, it is for your muscles. You've got a protein in your eyes, your eyelashes, your hair. It is all building blocks of the body. That's what protein does. Carbohydrate are an energy source. Uh, once it's stored, as I said, it's stored in the liver and the muscles. Once those storage is full, then it'll store us back. It's your body's first energy resource it goes to. You use energy. Okay? Uh, fats. A couple of reasons for fats. You get a nice little lining around some of our organs. It regulates core body temperature. Keeps your body temperature at what it's supposed to be. That's, that's the main reason for being there. The second reason it also regulates your hormones. So if you take one of these macronutrients out of the equation, like a lot of bad diets do, something's going to go wrong. You need to keep it at the moment status because it can actually keep you nice and balanced it out. Um, we will do a little bit of testing later on in the challenge. I will be asking you what the role of each one does again so you guys remember. Okay? Uh, any other questions before we get going on Monday? So, okay. so with the egg white omelets, do most people buy the protein white or do you prefer fresh egg white? You can have either either. Um, there's no preservatives in the egg whites. It's so many, it's a bit so convenient in the car. So no convenience and you can find them. They're hard to find. Um, sometimes I'll go to the supermarket and I can't find them. So it's a really tough carton in there. Um, and also, I've got a lot of rice with the same. Yep. Um, can I swap it? And you can swap yeah. it at any stage? Yeah, swap the sweet potato pumpkin. Or maize meal? Or no, stay away from the pork place. Yeah. Okay. There's a bugger on nutrition in it, and from the store, the manager still have a product that's sponsored with content. You want to stay away from it. Right, okay. um, corn and soy are two things that they mass produce so much. The uh, nutritional value of it is shit. Whereas I need to get as much nutrients in the as possible. So, when you've got veggies, you definitely swap the salad. Um, please don't use iceberg lettuce. <laughs> stay away from it. I'm not restricting you, bro. I just want to change that to baby spinach if you can. Baby spinach is a dark leaf, it's more nutrient dense, we magnesium, we buy the calcium, and it's where it comes from. Okay? Um, fiber is, sorry, go for it. Uh, snap Go for it. No problem. Snap frozen and veggies, actually, in their studies that prove snap frozen and veggies hold more nutrients than the fresh veggies. It depends on what you like um, and what's more convenient for you. When I'm doing my meal prep, I will just pour the frozen veggies in my containers. Don't pre cook them. When you reheat them, they're overcooked and they'll taste horrible. We just pour the frozen veggies into your container, just the right amounts you can get, and then bung your carb in there, bung your meat in there, put it in on the the freezer. So, but yeah, again, get them out of that container and put them onto a plate, a ceramic or glass plate. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's going to I have broccoli and broccoli in my Whatever you like better. Okay, yeah. so No, I just put the berries in there because okay. some people don't like the bitterness of broccoli. That's hard, um, and broccoli is just a bit nicer to palate. Um, if you've got a lot of broccoli in your diet and you feel like you're bloating, that would be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> broccoli holds a sugar enzyme in it that is hard for the human body to digest, so it causes a lot of bloating. If you're getting bloating from it, we'll swap you over things like asparagus, and pepper tea, get rid of that bloating as well, and back off the broccoli for a little bit. Okay? Um, any other questions as we go? Yes, you can have purple tea, it's just make sure you're not sitting. Okay? That's what Gage just handed me before and I actually flipped out of it. These, they're fantastic. If you have trouble getting water in, you need a flavour or you're lacking more cordial or you crave a soft drink or something like that. BSC and X50 green teas have some of the first better oil in them. So it's an antioxidant. A lot of these types of an antioxidant. Uh, basically, it's just flavouring the water. They say that it helps weight loss, they say that it does this, they say that it does that. It's just a good flavour to get in there. Green tea, the studies are still out on green tea, whether it actually does anything or not. The Chinese have been having it for years, can't go wrong. So get it in. Don't overdo it. You can put that in the soda water. You can put that in the soda water, it clumps a little bit. But if you get rid of the clumps, yeah, it'll give you a nice soda with flavour. And um, try and keep you hot, 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 and stuff like that. The chocolate one is fantastic hot. The coffee one's right, try it. Coffee one too, which is good. No worries. So, yeah, you can have a coffee one instead of coffee. Uh, no calories, you know, get in. The sources I was talking about before, we stock uh, sources in the front for warm farm sources. There's no calories in it. That's great. That's phenomenal stuff. Use them as much as you want. Um, 30 ml serve, I think it's got 4 calories. There's nothing else in it. So, it's empty calories, but it's a good source to add to anything. You've got maple in there, which is really good in your oats in the morning, or if you make protein pancakes, I'll show you how to do that later on. So you can have pancakes and maple syrup on them for breakfast. Uh, what else? The strawberry ones, the roses, great. I know you're at the season, that's exactly like that too. So 
if you've got salad and you want to dress it, Cabana yogurt, a little spoonful, over salad, fantastic, a bit of yogurt, gives it that moistness in there, so it's pretty dry and mild. It becomes a bit of fun at the same time, okay? So, uh, the other thing, talking about the chicken, I want you guys to have some red meat on the weekends. Alright? So, once Saturday or Sunday night, get a steak here. Steak or a lamb or some good red meat. Oh, kangaroo's fantastic. I put steak on Monday night. Get into it. Get into it, mate. If I've got steak on your diet, get into it. Alright? So, definitely some red meat in here. That whole spray team in it and a few other things. Iron iron as well. Um, you're going to get a lot of iron from your diet, uh, but we want to try and get as much fiber in there as possible. Now, if you guys see that you're not pooping, please do not hold it in. So it's a nice little cup. <laughs> I want you to come and see me. Uh, any digestive problems, if you're not pooping, or if you're just feeling sick and horrible or bloated or anything like that, please come and see me. It means that the fiber is lacking, uh, the non soluble fiber is lacking in your diet. And we need to get something like psyllium husk or that piece of there as well. Alright, you'll we'll usually notice in the first two weeks, you'll either be shitting through the eye of a needle, which is our car team will make you do that, <laughs> and it's pretty, it's pretty ferocious when it starts happening, um, or you'll flock up. Okay, so please come and see me. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. I have had every question under the sun. Okay, um, just please don't bring a sample in. Alright, please leave your shit through the eye of a needle, and it's like, is this right? <laughs> You have to take a photo of it and send it to your private. <laughs> um, it sounds like photos, yeah? No, you're not. Um, I will ask for progress shots halfway through. Has anyone got any questions about the more photos you can do on Monday night? That's alright. We can do them on Monday night. I've got the lighting on this out. Yep, that's right. We can do them in the day. I'll be today on. Yep, or a shit. I'll be here Monday morning as well, so shoot up. No, you're not going to do them in front of everyone here. <laughs> you will get to know each other a lot over this challenge, just not that well. Okay? Um, so, what do we have for photos? For the guys, just some short shorts, or some chocolate briefs, or something like that, or underwear. Please don't make them see through. Aaron, just, just keep an eye on you, mate. I know what you like. I want no see through onions. Uh, Alright? Just makes it all good for me. He's going to get awesome on this. I'll do it. He's just Please, no spotting on the bench with no underwear on. That has been done before. For the girls, bikini uh, or any underwear that nicks and bra that is not see through in place. Or, you know, um, What's the difference between the public and the private? With the public and private, we cannot use your photo at the end of the challenge. Okay? Keeps it nice and private. Uh, a lot of coppers. School teachers, things like that, don't want them going up there for obvious reasons. Kids can't see it, and you've just got to be a shit. <laughs> and um, with the coppers, they obviously don't want that up there as well, uh, for obvious reasons. What the main problem is with that is, you're not eligible to get a challenge. Because we can't turn around and go, this person won, and not show it. Uh, it's it's the market effects for us as well. Okay, you go public, you're in the moment you win it, and um, your photos will be put up at the end. Okay. Can you change it? You can change it. You can see Susan on the way out and change it if you want to. Oh, so you have to change it now. You can't change it. You have to change it before we start. You can't do it halfway through because all that stuff is piled. Judging for this challenge, talking about the wins, we do not judge it. Um, none of the staff and trainers here will be judging it. Obviously, you know, which is me. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We get to know you guys so well through this challenge that we would be biased. We would see people that have worked so hard. They've you know, done this, they've tried, they're doing this, they've been on diet so bad. We would be personally involved with you guys, so we hand the judgment off to two managers at ASN, Brett Reed and Brett. This does not mean the other side of Brett, it doesn't work. <laughs> Brett, Brett, Brett? Yeah. Brett has no heart. No. Nothing at all. Strictly business. Um, you can try and bribe him. I'm not sure what we did. Brett did. Not sponsorship. Yeah, Brett did. Um, Brian with some calf muscles, that'll work out well, he's lacking there. <laughs> and PK, uh, Peter Pinard is up in Mermaid Beach, so you can't get him. So what we do is once we've done the after photos, and we're all tan, and looking good, your yeah, hair, some makeup, some look beautiful, is we side by side, we send them all up to them, and they come back with my top 10, and they come back with my top 5, and they come back Okay, so we keep that as fair as possible to you guys. So we just sort of 
got flying ready to go. So then you got Russ guy, you're an asshole, you didn't pay me. So I was like, I didn't have to do it. Go on that prize and drop the grudge. Go up on two membership, 10 personal training sessions, 250 bucks. Uh, all your profit for the winner. Uh, half that again for the second, and half that again for the third prize. Okay. Sorry. Yes, um, case uh, donated some photography vouchers. Hours and dollars. So you can go and get photo shoot done. And you look really beautiful. And all set, muscled up, and looking fantastic. And the best bodies you've ever had in your life. Uh, a lot of you guys have got different goals. You're going to get there. All right, there's no doubt about it. If you do what we tell you to do, in eight weeks' time, you're going to have a phenomenal result. Um, Gage, to finish, Dawn, uh, Kira, you guys have done it before. You can all let us know, Kylo, I mean, you just need to go away and then pass it the week after the challenge. But she still hit it. Um, set those goals. Another thing I'll go on to say, and just let me talk for ages, sorry. Uh, at the end of the challenge, you will get impression. You're so hell bent, you've got this goal in front of you the challenge. You will get depressed after, probably have a week or two after the gym. We're going to try and prevent that as much as possible. By doing the last three weeks of the challenge, we're going to get you all goal setting. To get your eyes on a different prize, a different goal. Uh, if you do not have a goal, you're going to be going at lost motivation. Motivation is great to get you to start. But you've got to have a goal set to keep continuing. Otherwise, you've got nothing to work towards. You just feel like you're beating a dead horse. Okay? So we'll have a separate goal for after the challenge. You've got your body, you want. What are we going to do with it? Uh, where are we going to go from there? So that's what we're going to work on in the So we're trying mentally to be prepared for the end of the time. Okay? We are going to split into two teams like we did last time. Team's different this time. Uh, last time we had the new guys against the old guys. Well, there's not that many old guys in here. So I reckon mine and, Joel, mine and um, Bryce's team, the Captain America team, just kick ass over all the old as it's pretty big shit out of here. There's too many of us. So we're going to split down the middle. How are we going to do that? Really easy. I'm always going to sit to that side. Oh yeah, straight down the middle there. And go that way. Aaron, go that side. <laughs> there we go. No, straight up. There's our teams. Um, you're all partnered up with your friends that are doing the challenge oh, as well. <laughs> yep. No one's separated. That's why you're going that way. Cool. We got it sorted. Here's our team, righto. To this side will be Susan and Joel's team, the Iron Man team. Okay? Yes, we're all the guys. We're big as hell out here. <laughs> this side is Mine and Bryce's team. So, your Captain America team. This is how dedicated I am to you guys. It's the first one I've got. Okay? I sort of had to match it up. Because Susan was going to make me wear an Iron Man skirt because her team won last time. Here was my only superstar in last time, and she decided to have her photos go public over the last minute. She has bird. That was that. Uh, but I was doing that this time, that's why we put public five on the start. So I don't have to message everyone that way. Uh, yes, scales while we're going through the challenge. Please stay on with them once I ask you to get on them. Okay? If you get on the scales through this challenge, you are in for the biggest roller coaster ride of your life emotionally. The thing is, you will take me down with you. Because you'll be in tears, holding on to go, oh, good, I put my on this week in the car, the red thing says, I'm working, what can I do? And then a day later, I'm like, I just lost my ear load. And I will be banging my head with a brick wall. I'll be all doing it. So please stay off the scales until I ask you to jump on them. The best record of how your body's changing is look in the mirror. That being said, you're not going to see a change. A lot of you guys at the end will say, I haven't changed a bit until I side by side those photos and you go, oh my god, what happened? I'm not looking at anyone in particular who has a habit of a meltdown on photo day on the after photo. I'm doing my photo. I've got no change whatsoever. Put them together and then she tears for a different reason because she's like, oh my god, I changed so much. 20 kilos, you've got to show up the body. Yes, Carly, you're 20 kilos. I've lost my challenge. She's done really good job. I think a lot of you guys have done challenges and dropped 10, 15, 20 kegs as you go. Um, Brad's previous winner, up there, he looked phenomenal until he stuck the line down. Yes, I'm going to pay out on you guys as well. You've done it before. Um, so there will be a lot of selection as we go through. You guys want to know each other. Um, one thing that's amazing on this challenge, and I told you a couple of you guys on Monday night about this, and it came out of nowhere, I think, you were one of the organisers. Uh, Saturday nights, uh, they do a family dinner down here. All the challenges.
challenges get together, put the tables together, and all eat their sad ass meals together. <laughs> and I think Kylie sort of runs a little bit of a workout as well. Yeah, and dance session as well. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so have fun while we're doing it, okay? Get families to get through it. Everyone's going through it together. So, you can all make friends pretty much for life through this. It's like I've been in an army boot camp. Uh, you're going through hell together, you're all with you, ready for life together. Got it. Okay, that's fine. Yep. We'll make it up. Don't worry about that. We'll fix you up on the next time you're in the gym. Where is you at? Uh, the room is about 300 Murphy's. So it's true. Throughout the spot. Oh, oh. You can put that to a backup. You do 350. You do 350. If I promise you to have a donut after, and that's a test, and you ask that thing next to 50 and we've got a donut anyway. Again, not looking at anything in particular, okay? <laughs> 300 burpees, yes, we are going to do it. We're not going to do it until I see that everyone in here is fit enough to get through it. Those of you with injuries, don't worry. Yeah, we'll modify it for you. I'll think about that later. We modify it for you so we're not going to injure you. Okay, so if you've got injuries, real injuries, please come and see me before I turn around and lock the front door. It's like you guys have got 300 burpees tonight, whether you like it or not. Yes, we want the front door so you can't get out. You, you got no excuse. You've done this a few times and made me do it as well. Um, so uh, if you can't make the two classes, yep. the, the, the yeah. Yeah, just add yourself to one of the other classes straight yeah. away. Yep. So just let them know, uh, let anyone know at the front desk that if you missed one of the challenge classes and then one of the classes during the week, you get free. Okay? Um, we're going to do team to team at the head as well. So you'll be challenging each other. We didn't do it last time, did we? No. We've got to do it. 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 It's not winter anymore, so it's no night. Uh, there will be a lot of good dance in there. Uh, yes, we will be doing the beat test over time. Uh, towards the start of the challenge, we'll all get out to the beat test. Go uh, on. Uh, Aaron, no beat test with your ACL. Okay, anyone else who's got an ACL, please don't go out, please. We won't be doing the challenge with the um, Joel said, what was it? Uh, That's right. If you stuff up, yes, own it. Tell Scotty. So if you do something yeah. bad, tell him. He's not going to kick your ass. He right. will you kick your ass. You're not going to be an ogre when it comes to diet. You will blow out. You will stuff up. You're human. This is a strict diet. Unless you're a dedicated bodybuilder or a sports athlete, you're not going to be this before. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're not going to be this hard. You'll blow out. You'll stuff up. You'll have mistakes. Please tell me. Don't be afraid to tell me. I'm not going to yell at you and go, oh my god, you should have just done what I said. Please tell me because I can rectify the mistake. Okay? We can change the diet during the week to make up the mistake. Now, I'm not giving you car parts to fuck up. Do it properly as much as you can, but if you do stuff up, please tell me. And we'll rectify the mistake and help. Yes. So the week before that five days and the week after that five days, you'll die from really, really hard. Okay? okay? It's going to suck a little bit. Yeah. Weekends, you will find tough. That's why we do better meals. It's carb free on weekends. You've got 16 grams of carb in your macro, which is nothing. Basically, you're on chicken and beans for the weekend. Where it says on your diet Saturday and Sunday, you're eating the same thing Saturday and Sunday. There are no carbohydrates. You will be bitchy. You will be moody. You will act like you've got the period. And again, that's just the guys. The girls, on the other hand, yeah, I'm not coming in on weekends for no reason that I just get yelled at for no reason whatsoever. It makes your period look like nothing, ladies. That's your days before your period. No, it makes it look like nothing. You'll be a horrible ass hat for the weekend. Make sure your partners understand what you're doing to do it. You will find throughout family you won't get much support. Your family will be the main person who will sit there and try and, and sabotage what you're doing. Just have one of these. Come on, you'll be right. It's only one small thing. You'll be fine. Okay? Look towards each other. This group that's sitting right here now is your support base. If you have a family that does support you through this, fantastic. That is great news. But most of the time, they will not. They don't understand it. What they don't understand is they try and sabotage for you. Well, towards the end of the challenge, oh my god, if you shouldn't drink that much water, you will die. If you would die, I would not describe you a diet of that much water. Towards the last three days of the challenge, you'll be able to 10 liters of water a day. Yeah. 
Uh, no, don't do measurements, but if you want your measurements done, please see Joel or Bryce. Uh, they'll take you upstairs and we're going to get your measurements done. So you've got a record of how you started. <coughs> Any of those that were getting a pop out? No? Nervous? It's very crunchy. The great thing about it is that you can ask any challenge before you can do it. And I'll make a fun while we're doing it. I'll never laugh. You need to cry while we're doing it. Cry, okay? Uh, it's very fun to take my photo in front of somebody else, uh, especially someone you don't know. Now, you guys don't know me from the bar, so this is another thing I will say. You don't know me, you sign up on a challenge, you know my experience, you know the previous challenges, you want to see them, and what works. What I ask you to do, and you'll actually see it up on the panel at the front, is just trust me. I'm begging you to just trust me. Okay? Some of the things we do might seem a little bit weird, you'll question it. Please just put the trust in these eight weeks and I'll see you through. Okay? It's blind trust, it's very hard to do. You've got no reason to trust me. I've given you no reason to do it. But please just try as hard as you can to trust me to do it. Okay? There'll be a lot of people telling you. This whole challenge is a counseling service, so I'll do. Um, you'll have a lot of people telling you different, telling you this is not healthy, telling you you look sick. Especially in the last week of the challenge, you'll be gone, you'll be withdrawn, you'll look sick. Sharon over there. Sharon's probably got the best look on a challenge end I've ever seen in my entire life. We do a key genesis through the last four days of the challenge. And Sharon came in looking like she's been a junkie for like 20 years. She's so much on the face and so skinny and so squatty. And then we carve up after that. The reason we do that, I'll explain a little bit later on, but I'll quickly tell you now. Uh, we deplete all blood in the system in four days, which is called ketosis. So your body's waiting on the ketones. You've got to carve up the system until long. Uh, the reason we do that is we carve low to two days before the photos. Your body doesn't want to be in that state ever again, so it compensates for that and will hold 20% more glycogen, which means you're going to be 20% more muscle in the photo. Okay? So it's just with that, that really good photo. It's one of your technique on one stage, you've got 20% bigger than you start. Okay? Some of you I don't do that for. Um, some of you look fantastic as you are, because you're going to do more So you don't have to do I did hear a rumor that there might be two weeks of here to do that. There, there may be. To see how your bodies react, I don't know your bodies. If I'm taking a bodybuilder to a competition, I know their bodies. I've done this before. I've trained with them. I know how their body reacts to different foods and different things. I don't know that about you guys, so halfway through the challenge, if we go to the challenge, we might do a pig over it to see how you react to it. Um, those of you with type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes will not be doing that. We'll be staying nice and steady all way. Okay? Yeah, you can wait. Yeah, you do it. You're all right. Okay, any other questions, guys? Now please speak up. Do you want us just to stick to the workouts or you're happy to do that? Nope, just stick to the workouts. If you're doing that workout wrong, you've got no idea how of having energy to do another workout after that. You'll be knackered. Alright, so you're dancing videos and that? I'll show you. 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 i Document the challenge, document the cake diet study, how you feel, um, and the workouts, and the technique, the timing, the tempo, and the workouts. You'll be a great position to teach other people to do this and really pay it forward to the way. Okay? You really can. Go for it, go for it. The workouts are tough. If you're able to walk out of this after week day, you're not doing it hard. Um, the workout's going to change halfway through, and you're going to do the brain drop of Johnson's leg day straight up. Think three sets of 50 reps on that leg press. Super set it with 14 step punch and 10 kilos and kilo dumbbells. That's tough. Big luck. You're right. The legs blew up like a bloody boy. Yeah. Um, there'll be a lot of people that'll crawl out of here. Uh, if you drive a manual vehicle, they stay over here. There may be a couple of people that drive on the forum and may or may not be stuck on the shooter and can't get off. Um, your toy your toy will be the worst in this. Yeah. And so and just roll forward, try and grab the door handle. If the door handle's a little bit more tough. Um, I have had one of my clients once before, not quite make it to the toilet. She did a little bit of weeds all over herself down. Her husband sent a text message and said, I just watched my favourite pump burn now. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> so, so the pain is real and it does hurt. If you've got concerns with that, we can't handle it. Please, again, talk to us. That's all we need to do. You have our full attention for eight weeks. We're here to help you get to the table. So use us. What's the saunas towards the end of the challenge? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 500 calories burn off the sauna. I'd rather saunas than 
Fantastic to have massages. Um, please do. If you can afford it, get the massage done. If not, please, and I beg you, stretch after every workout. The stretching is going. Yeah, if you have a massage, please take the next day off. Or the next two days off. Okay, if you have a deep tissue massage. If you have a relaxation massage, get into the workout straight away. Deep tissue massage, next two days off. Your muscles have been torn to the crapper. Okay, they need time to recover. Okay. Well, you can that before you do Yeah, next day. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, rest days. I am not going to be working out on weekends for a reason. We do very, very hard uh, workouts. I need your body to recover. Okay, so please take that rest day. If you can't follow the workout for the days I've got planned, um, you can change them around. If you've got more time on the weekend to work out, just move your leg back on the weekend. If you do that, please move your diet accordingly. Diet to match up with your workout. So please, if it's leg day, it's on Monday, if you can't do it, you can do it on Saturday. Move the whole workout in the gym around the Saturday. Okay. Um, anything else we've got that I haven't covered? Okay. Yeah, go for it. If you can stretch out and do yoga, definitely do it. Um, it's tiring, but getting your hips are great stretching is so fantastic for you. Um, stretching, as I said, please get it done after every workout. If you have problems and you don't know what to stretch for, I'll go one this and we'll help you out. The reason I say stretching, especially on the calf muscle, if you're doing a lot of space, they put a lot of tension on the calf muscle. Now, if you don't stretch properly, it won't happen there on the spot. You'll be walking down the street, shopping the next day or every couple of days later. And if that calf blows out, you know about it. That calf is going to trip and tear over that hop, oh, and you'll be out. You've got to be on up the body for a couple of weeks on the Okay? So please, it's really imperative that you stretch after every workout, especially the calf muscle. That's why I'm telling you to go. Any other questions? Doesn't mean you have to do it together. Do it in your own time. This is a selfish time for you guys. This is time for you to be selfish. This is you time. Those of you that mums and dads, you've given a lot of time to your kids. You're not going to be a role model to those kids. This is you will feel guilty, and a lot of people have. Oh, I'm not spending time with kids. Oh, I'm snapping at them. I'm being nasty. Just up at the time. I'm going to grab you. One up at a time. Quick photo, front, side, back, and out. Done. Done nice and quickly. The main reason that very good photos are Those photos aren't going out to anybody. The only person that's seeing those photos are the staff and the judges. That's it. If you request your photo, we'll send it to you. Okay? So please don't bring me back crying. Say, hey, look, I look at all. It will happen to find yourself in a bare way. Alright? Anything else? What time are you here Monday morning? I'll be here at 7 a.m. Monday morning. Okay? You're usually a bit early, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I Sure. So I come in a little bit early for one. I may not be happy, but I'll come in. Do you need a cutter at night time? Because if they go in, yeah, they're all fat. And they're fatter. It's true. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 All right, can we start off on Monday? The Monday after that, I'll be asking all you guys what changes we've got. And so we'll probably do a weigh-in the Monday after just to see if I've got the diets right. It is not an exact science, as I said. That's why I asked some of you big eaters, little eaters, I'm trying to, every time we do a challenge, I'm trying to refine it a little bit more. Uh, I may get a couple wrong, and you may not lose weight the first week. You just rectify it straight after that. I can change it really, really quickly, okay? If I see a movement on the scale, you can go ahead and do it. Go shopping on the weekend, guys. Go and get your stuff. Uh, chicken. You will get the taste of chicken. You'll know good and bad chicken pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so, always go for the stuff. Don't go for the old grey bath three hands because after about three weeks on that, you're going to be sitting there and taste like a husky. So I just ate something in the same spot. Okay. Um, that's about it. I think we're all wrapped up. We're all excited. We're all ready to go. Uh, Monday night, the four photos. Wednesday night, first challenge class. We're going to hit the ground running. We're going to hit it hard. Uh, we're going to be in the gym the whole time with you guys. Please ask us questions. Work out everything. Okay? If you're in, you start your workout, and you know you can't get through it all, come and see us, we'll give you a hand. We'll help you out with everything you can possible. That's why we're here. Okay? Good luck, everyone. I cannot wait until this eight weeks is up to see all you guys and see how you look at the end of this, because you're all going to look amazing. Okay? If you think you're going to give up on this thing, really, what are you giving up? Why are you so many people turn around and say, 
I just can't do the challenge anymore. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to quit. Okay, so what are you going to quit? I'm still going to come to the gym. I'm still going to eat the same. Yeah. What are you quitting? It's pressure. They can't, they don't like the pressure. That goal, that set is there. You set a goal for yourself. You've done this for a reason. Finish it. Finish it and be proud. If you don't think you've got to change, still finish it. If you don't, I don't want to do my after photos, I, I fucked up throughout the whole channel. Finish it. Never ever quit. If you quit, that'll last forever. 